Remember the day when you ordered something online and it came to your front door and the UPS driver just rang the doorbell? That happened to me today. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you what I purchased. I'm going to try something different and I've decided to give the SDR radios a try. SDR stands for Software Defined Radios and uh, I'm so excited and I want to set this up and perhaps also do a remote control HF operations with that. Okay let's take a look at this. The ICOM 7610 connected to a software called HDSDR. We're on this is 18 megahertz, uh, 17 meter band. I'm gonna turn on my volume. So yeah, having this Spectrum waterfall display, seeing the signals got me very interested in the new type of ham radio, the software defined radio. Well, I guess you know what I ordered because you probably saw the thumbnail, but can you guess where I bought this from? Alright. Let's open this up real quick. Alright. Inside the box is the Sun SDR2 DX. I also bought some Anderson power poles and also an extra UHF mini to SO239 connector. This is the Expert Electronics Sun SDR2 DX model. So let's open the cellophane. Check it out, it says amateur radio equipment. This is like a an Apple product when you open it. The box is very hefty and very heavy. There's a lot of suction. I'm almost to the top, see? Power connector, Anderson power poles, Cat5 connectors, and some phono plugs, and you also have the UHF Mini to SO239.
that's the back end you got the massive computer fan and also the massive heat sink and the front with this SDR radio the total output power is 100 watts on HF and it puts out 80 watts on six meters you also have eight watts on two meters so it's very versatile it's sort of a little bit heavy somewhat but it's really compact it's about the size of my hand there's two software receivers and they say that it, it, it can take up to four slices of received signals. So you actually have like total, you can receive four signals at one time. It also has an independent wideband scope up to 80 megahertz. This also has remote control operation. Using that, you need to connect your push to talk and CW key to the ecoder panel and that's sold separately. The microphones and ecoders are also connected to the remote setup PC so I will need to have another computer and some of the softwares out there you can use a Windows laptop, a mini PC and also believe it or not uh, Macintosh you can use a Mac product computer to connect to this. There's a TCI interfaces. So you can use third party software. TCI means uh, transceiver control interface. Okay. And let's take a look at the back. In the back you have two HF inputs that's an A2 and A3 you have a VHF input that's A1 you have a ground you have an ATU control also ALC if you're running an amplifier and you also can use this uh, is that a DB15 connector you can use a DB15 connector to control other appliances I guess you want to call that uh, a receive out ADC in and DAC out and don't ask me what those are if you know what those are I'll leave a note in the comment I didn't read all the specs um, you get a plug for your push to talk say like a, a foot pedal or a hand switch you know click 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 and you can install a keyer here and this is where you connect your gigabyte Ethernet it also has a 10 reference or 10 megahertz reference clock input here and this is for GPS positioning it takes your standard Anderson power poles in the front you have your on and off button and that's going to illuminate whether if it's on. You also have two mic inputs. One is a RJ45 and another one is a, a phonotype, what is a 6.3 millimeter plug. And also you can utilize your headset if you need to. So what I like about the adapters, let me show you the, the phono adapters. Here they are. The phono adapters, you can use your 3.5 millimeter headset. You don't have to buy an adapter and just plug that right inside. Wow, now do you know where I'm coming from? This is awesome. The ICOM 7610 is a great radio. So having that USB 3 fast connectivity that's connected to the software, the HD SDR. 
that's what changed my mind in purchasing another radio. So I am now going to explore the world of SDR. Well, you've reached the end of my video. Thank you for watching. And if you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. Click the notification bell so you receive notifications on any new topics or any new videos that I put out. And if you do like SDR radios, consider to subscribe. It encourages me to make more videos for you guys about amateur radio. My name is Captain Darren. My call sign is N4VFR. Have a great day and until next time, stay safe. 73s.